Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central. I'm logged into this Asus RTAC68U Wi-Fi router, and I'm going to show you how to configure port forwarding for gaming on this router. Port forwarding is just a configuration you make on your router to ensure that all the information that needs to travel between the gaming server and your gaming rig can successfully go through the router and so you can play your game online successfully. The first thing you're going to want to do is assign a static IP address to whatever your gaming rig is. First, it needs to be connected to this router so it'll be available. So what we're going to do is go down to the LAN settings down here. And then we're going to go to DHCP server. Now I'm going to scroll down. And since my machine is already connected to the router, it's available in this drop down list. So I'm going to select it. And now it's going to assign this IP address. It's going to reserve this IP address for this computer. So this computer will always be assigned this IP address in DHCP. I'm going to add it with this button, and then I'm going to apply the settings. Once I applied the settings, it actually uh, restarted the router and made me log back in, because that's what it has to do to apply the settings. So I'm back at this page. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want our gaming machine to always have the same IP address. That's important for the port forwarding part. Now to go to for port forwarding settings, you're gonna to go to this thing called open NAT. I'm gonna to go to that page. And then once you get to the open NAT page, you scroll down and click this little button to enable it. Now it's enabled. It didn't need to restart the router or anything. I didn't have to log back in. It just loaded and took a couple seconds. And now what I do is you're going to add your game profile. So basically, you don't need to worry about this one right now. You can just go down here and select the game that you're going to play. I'm going to look for League of Legends just because I know a lot of people who play that. There we go, League of Legends. So you select that game. And now you select the platform you play it on. This is only available on PC. So I imagine that's why it's the only option available. And the service name is League of Legends because that's the game we're playing. And you go to this drop down list and you select your computer that's connected and you notice it's that same IP that it was assigned earlier. If we do this setting and apply it without creating a static IP, then it's possible that DHCP could assign your gaming machine a different IP. And then once that happens, you'll have to, it'll stop working. You'll have to come back in the router and re-update this. But if you just assign that static IP, like I showed you before this, you won't have that problem. So we have this IP in there and we hit okay. And we go to apply. Once it's done applying, again, it didn't have to restart or anything. It didn't have to um, make me log in or anything. It just came back here. I did just notice that this button seems to be turned off again. So let's turn that back on and see what happens again. Okay, so I just turned it on again and it seems to be on. So maybe we had to apply at least one game first before it would stay on. So it's staying on now. So if you play League of Legends and then that's just, that's, you're done. So now all you have to do is just, you can close this out and go play League of Legends and it should be good. So the question is, what if you want to play a game that is not in their list? Or what if you just, what if it's the wrong setting or what if you don't trust it or whatever? What if you just want to do your own manual settings? How do you do that? We're going to go to manual and I know I saw Fortnite in there but I'm just gonna use Fortnite as an example. So once we're on manual, you don't need to select the platform because that's the, the ports you put in here will determine what platform it is. Settings, ser service name is the game you're gonna play. So I'll say Fortnite, we're creating a new rule for Fortnite. And now it's gonna ask you which protocol you want to open, TCP, UDP, or both. I would be careful choosing both because that will open the ports that you put in here for both protocols. And I want to show you why both is a bad option. Once we go to portforward.com and we go to the Fortnite game, this will, this page will show us what ports we need to open. So if we're playing Fortnite on the PC, there's this set of ports that need to be open for TCP and this set of ports that need to be open for UDP. So if you select both over here, if you say both, then whatever ports you put in, let's say I'll just select these ones. 
So I'll select the TCP ports and I'll paste them in here. If you select both, it's going to open all these ports for both TCP and UDP. And why is that a bad thing? Because TCP, just for one example, TCP port 5222 needs to be open. So if you select both, it's going to open port 522 on both TCP and UDP. But if you look down here, UDP does not need port 522 to be open. It's not in the list. So you're opening an unnecessary port. So what I would suggest is to make two different rules, one for TCP and one for UDP. So I'm going to call this one Fortnite TCP. And I'm going to take all these ports. I already did it, but I'm going to do it again just to show you from TCP and copy it. And I'm going to put it in this box that says external port. And these two boxes are optional. We're not going to configure those. And I'm going to say internal IP address. You just same thing as when you do the static IP, you just select your machine and then you click OK. So we're not done. We only did half of it because we're only we're not opening all the ports. We're only opening the proper ones that we want to have open. So this one is T Fortnite TCP. And now I'm going to create a second rule. I'm going to go to add. Now I'm going to go to Fortnite UDP. And I'm going to go back to this page. This tells us all the ports that we need to have open. Now you'll notice that depending on what console you're playing on, if you're playing on PC, the ports are not the same as PlayStation 4. So you don't, you don't need to add all these in here. You only need to add it for, like, for the PC. You only need to add the PC ports. You'll notice that they're different. So if you don't play Fortnite on PlayStation 4, you don't need to open these ports. You don't even, don't even worry about it. So we're creating this one, Fortnite UDP. This one, the protocol is going to be TCP. And the ports that we're going to we're going to do UDP, sorry, because we're doing the UDP part. So now we're going to go open the ports that are on UDP. And paste those ports in there. You'll notice that some of these are single ports with a comma separated by commas. And some of them are ranges. So this is going to open up port 433, comma. And then it's going to open up all these ports in between 3478 and 3479. So it's two of them in a row. It's not a whole bunch of ports. But you'll notice up, up here there's a bunch of ports. That's what the dash means. It's opening up a range of ports. Again, we don't need the optional settings. And we're going to select our gaming rig again and click OK. I noticed that I did this first Fortnite one wrong. I selected both by mistake. So just this is a learning experience, I guess. We can delete that one because we messed up. We already did UC, UDP, so I'm going to do TCP again. I'm going to add manual. The service name is Fortnite TCP. We want to select TCP, not both. And the ports we want to open are Fortnite TCP ports. So I'm going to copy those and paste them into external port. Again, I'm going to select my gaming machine and hit OK. So now we've opened up the Fortnite UDP ports and we've opened up the Fortnite TCP ports. You could just select both if you wanted, but that would open up a bunch of ports that are unnecessary. So that's why I don't do both. I don't, I feel like that's lazy on, Ace, on the part of Asus, but I don't know. Maybe there's a reason that I'm not aware of, but you're, they have unnecessary ports open. So once we have these in here, we're going to apply the settings. And once that is done, you'll see all these options are down here. And I also noticed one more time, this thing is, I don't know if that keeps turning off. Why is it off? Let's turn it back on again and see what happens. Okay, so it's on. What happens if we go to a different page? Let's go back to the main page. And then let's go to open that. Okay, so it's working. So I'm, it looks like every time you add something down here and apply, you're going to have to turn this back on. So make sure you turn that back on. Just look and make sure it's on. 
it does look like it's staying because when I go to a different page and go back, it's still on. So every time you add something down here and then apply, you also have to enable this again. Now that's all we needed to do to configure port forwarding on this router. I hope that helped you out. If it did, please like the video. That helps me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching.